everybody, sewing with Nyla again. Um, some of you requested a tutorial on how to do a buttonhole. So that's what I'm going to show you today. It's very simple. So, of course, we got our supplies that we're going to need. Got to have my snips. And we're going to use a buttonhole foot. Of course, we have our button. And then our fabric. I'm using just a basic cotton here, but one thing I want you to keep in mind is that when you get ready to do a buttonhole, you've got to make sure you prep your fabric, meaning you need a stabilizer or an interfacing in between. And I've taken my fabric and I've double folded because this cotton is really thin. But by putting the interfacing in between and then having two more layers of the cotton, it's going to give me a nice um, firm fabric to do my buttonhole on. Okay, first I'm going to change my presser foot because I want to put on my buttonhole foot. And as you notice with the buttonhole foot, you've got these little marks. Those marks are going to be where you set um, the distance for your buttonhole. What I like to do before I get started is I like to kind of place my button on top of the gauge here. And I always like to set it back so that just a little bit of the buttonhole will show. So I don't set the button back on the first stitch. I move it back just a little bit. And I want to make sure I have that same distance on the front end as well as the back. Gives you enough room to open the buttonhole up, up to put the button in. So it looks like I'm going to be setting mine on the mark between this one, which will be... It's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the mark in between five and six is where I'm going to stop and set my... Oops where I'm going to start, stop and set my buttonholes. You can see my little mark right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my buttonhole foot. And now we're ready to sew our buttonhole. It's ready to time to change the um, setting. Okay, now we have to set up our sewing machine to, um, to be adjusted for doing a buttonhole. As you can see, I'm on my straight stitch and here is a list of my stitches here. My one, two, three, and four, those are my settings for my buttonhole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on my setting one. So I'm going to turn my knob. And my one is right here. Here is my two. The three is in the middle. And then the four. So now we're ready to um, do our buttonhole because we're all set up. Okay, I've ironed my stabilizer in place. As you can see, it's, it's nice and ironed in. And by ironing it in, the glue melts, so it gives it a little bit more stability in addition to having the stabilizer. So now we're pretty ready, pretty much ready to um, do our buttonhole. And as I mentioned before, we're going to be stopping at the between the five and the six. So one, two, three, four, five, and a half, and that'll be six. When you're doing a buttonhole, you always want to start at the beginning. So if this is your garment, the edge of your garment, and your buttonhole is going that way, you always want to start at the beginning of the buttonhole. If this is the edge of your garment and your buttonholes are going that way, then you want to make your markings on your garment and always start at the beginning of the buttonhole. So I'm going to make mine horizontally. So, and I'm going to um, start, I always like to start with my little tip close to the edge, but not right on the edge. And that gives me enough space so that um, I've got space on the outside, which is normally about a half an inch, to um, leave space so that the buttonhole doesn't come all the way to the end. So we're going to start by sewing um, the number one stitch. So we're going to go back and forth a few times. And when you stop, since two is going to be on your left, you always want to make sure your needle is down on the left. Now I'm going to turn it to the number two position. And we're going to start to sew the buttonhole. And I'm going to sew it right up until I get to the spot. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to stop in halfway between, which is right there. Then I'm going to put it on my three. And since three goes across this way, you want to make sure your needle is down on the left side. I'm going to lock it in a couple times. Now that we're going to do four, you want to make sure your needle is down on the right side because now we're going to come right back up. And as you can see, we're sewing a very nice buttonhole. And we're going to come all the way back up. And it'll stop automatically. Um, it won't go any further, rather, when we get back to one. And what I always like to do is put the needle down on the right side. And I like to lock in 
the number one just maybe one or two more times just to finish it off. And let's take our snips and clip the thread because I want you to see how beautiful this buttonhole came out. And as you can see, you have a very nice buttonhole with a little space in the middle to open it up. And what I like to do is I just like to take a seam ripper and put the seam ripper at the bottom end and just let it ride and cut the buttonhole. And now we have our buttonhole. And as you can see, here's my button that we started with. And I'm going to insert my button. And there we have a perfect buttonhole.